Hey y'all, and welcome back for more Mother 3. Bats are attacking me, uh, for some reason or other. <laughs> and then, of course, you confuse yourself. That's really, that's great. Feeling a little strange. Is he gonna attack himself? He did! But he didn't kill himself, he just attacked himself. Probably only had, like, 3 HP left, too. After hitting himself. Anyway, um... I got a crap ton of baked yams, as you can plainly see. Also, um, Flint's at level 13, Boney's at 12, so... What were their levels at before I started getting baked yams? I really don't remember. They're both a lot stronger than they were, though, so that's good. Didn't realize it before because the flames were so intense at the time, but it looks like this area over here got hit really bad by the fire, too. Well, we couldn't go over here before because there was, like, a lot of fire in the way, so... Wait, hi, dude. A fire, then rain. And then children's smiles. It will be alright. Reggie knows it. Well, it'd be great if it was alright, but it probably won't be. Okay, so I really don't need to be fighting a whole lot more, because I'm probably over-leveled. Because this first boss, even though it's, you know, the first boss, it's, uh... I don't remember it being that difficult, really. Forest still smells burnt. I guess it was a pretty big fire and all. Let's hurry and find Hinawa so she can make us some of her special lasagna. That's all you care about is her food. Antidote... That we clearly don't need, because I think I still have, like, four of the damn things, so... Whatever. There's, like, nothing here but stuff that wants to attack us, of course. Klaus is a troublemaker, so I bet he's hiding around here somewhere, watching us worry our heads off. But Lucas is a crybaby, so I bet he's probably in tears by now. Well, darn. I, I don't really know what else to say. This is just really an awful situation, basically. Beef jerky! Oh, we definitely want that. Um, get rid of an antidote. I mean, yeah. Oh, I don't need it. Beef jerky's probably about the best healing item you can get at this point in the game, because it recovers 60 HP. Carefully sun-dried meat. Uh-huh. Hi. We've been calling their names for a while, but there's been no response at all. You think maybe they're not in this area? That uh, would probably be a good guess. Mini mini charm, that's also something else I want. Getting rid of this antidote. Okay. Wait, crap. <laughs> mini, mini charm. Uh, to be equipped in the body raises defense by two. Hooray. Okay. You know what? Screw it. I'm. It's gonna bother me, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. It can sit at the bottom of the inventory. I'm sure, Klaus and Lucas will be coming. Will come racing here before long to have some of those slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies of mine. I'm sure that's exactly what they want. Absolutely positive, that's what they want. Um, why am I going over here? I don't need to, need to be going over here. I should save, probably, though. So, I'm doing that, right now. Oh, we're over at Mount Oriander, so... That should mean, yeah, we're almost up to Alex's house. It's just a little ways up. Okay. Hey, everybody! Actually, it looks like someone went and snapped these in half, not lightning, but that can't be possible. Huh. He now his father lives right past here, but... Flint, what should we do? I can't believe my eyes. Just look at this, Flint. These huge trees were snapped right in two. How could such big trees get ripped down like this? There's one thing for sure, whatever did this, it wasn't human. And no, it wasn't me, because you're apparently not human. What do we do now? They have the path completely blocked. Actually, Hinawa and the kids might still be stuck out there because of all these knockdown trees blocking the way. Even if it's not the most direct path, we should look for another way around. It's probably best if we split up into a few groups. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. Hey! Have you found Hinawa and the kids? Lighter? Are you sure you're in good enough shape to be out here? I'm always in good enough shape. Don't treat me like some injured clod. We'll take care of things here. You keep pushing on ahead, Flint. Um... I'm not sure how... Much good that's gonna do, because that's like a large tree, but okay. Be careful, Flint. There's no telling what's lurking out here. 
My dad lives life with lots of energy, so he's not like regular people. Mr. Flint, my dad will do his best. I don't doubt it. This won't take long now that our boss is here. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Plus, Lou and I are experts when it comes to getting in the way. Hold on, we're not the ones in the way here. Okay, so they're supposed to be, like, kind of a comedy duo, I guess. Uh, that was... must have been one of their routines or something. Hope he was alright. Jonelle and the others are all gathered at the bottom of the cliff over there. wonder if something's happened. Probably. Wouldn't surprise me, because everything has been just going so great so far. All the forest critters are acting weird, and I'm suddenly getting real bad vibes here. Oh no, I mean that in a good way. What I mean to say is, I'm getting good bad vibes, if that makes sense. Uh-huh. It's just a guess, but I'd say a Drago climbed up from here. See those claw marks? Those most certainly belong to a Drago. But why would a Drago claw at that stuff like this? Enough to leave gashes in rock, even. They're such peaceful creatures. I get the feeling something very bad is happening to the forest, the people, the animals, and me. Well, great. That's that's amazing. Okay. What is it, Bony? Flint, I think Boney found something. Oh, look up there. There's a scrap of cloth. Don't you see it? There's a bit of red right over there. is it? Is there something on top of this cliff? Old Man West, what are you doing here? Sorry to say, but there's nothing a rickety old man can do to help us out. Uh, okay. Aw, oh, poor Boney. He's sad. Okay, we had to walk around you to talk to you because why? <laughs> oh, Flint. Don't tell me you intend to climb this cliff. I know how you feel, but scaling this cliff face is just too dangerous. But you know, maybe my son could be of use. I don't know if it will help any, but let's get him here so he can try. I'll need to borrow Boney for a bit. Boney, bring my son back here. My son's name is... A strange but nice guy with unexpected skills. Well, I don't care what your name is, you're just gonna be Duster. His name is Duster. Got that? Here, have a sniff of this sock. Ugh. That's ripe. But don't forget the smell now. Yeah, that's ripe, all right. <laughs> Even the dog's complaining. That's not good. I've tied a yellow ribbon to your collar. Show him the ribbon, and he'll know exactly what's going on. Now fetch! You can count on me! And there he goes! <laughs> Running into people, of course. Move, bitch! Get out of the way! We got more important things to deal with. But first, I gotta talk to some kids. Apparently. Well, I'm guessing that's the house. That's the one we were at earlier where I got the thunder bombs, actually. Hey, dude! Get up! There's shit we gotta do, man. Like, seriously, wake up. You made Boney sad, how dare you? <laughs> and he's still, of course, asleep, so Boney's just having to drag him. How do you sleep getting your ass dragged from one end of the town into the forest? How can you manage to sleep through that? I don't understand. I don't. I mean, I'm a heavy sleeper, but not that bad. Duster, at long last it is time to put the thief skills you've studied since childhood to the test. Now show us your wall staple technique, right here, right now. 
I did study that technique, but this is my first time using it for real. I hope this works. This area looks scalable here. And of course, you have to pose first. He has, like, an infinite supply of these staples somewhere on him. So he can make ladders whenever he wants to, basically. So I guess that's useful, or something. Alright, that should do it. Flint, be careful of coming up. No? Okay, I guess we're going up there. Bark, bark. Okay. Those claw marks are from a Draco, you best be careful. Okay. I had no idea Duster had such special abilities. Thief farts are an incredible thing. He stuck staples into a wall. I'd be too scared to climb up. Who knows what could be lurking up there? Well, we're about to find out. And Boney is the most amazing dog ever because he can, in fact, climb ladders. And then the rain quit. <laughs> I have a slight leg handicap, but I'll do my best. Please take me with you. And we got another party member. Yay! Anybody you ever have to name, like we did just now, uh, is going to be, like, a main character in the story. Okay, so, uh, what do you have? You have Ordinary Shoes, Long Since Become Worn in Offens, plus six, and you have that and that, okay. And you're at level eight, that's great. Oh, well. I better say first, before I do anything else. Okay. So there, now we have Duster. Same color as Hinawa's dress. Well, that certainly bodes well. I'm telling you, just so many terrible things are happening here. Okay. Oh, look! Moles. I snuck up on you! Ha ha! Snuck up on a mischievous mole from behind. Oh, dear. For me, it's always easiest to do combos with Duster, because every time you attack with somebody, they make a noise. For Boney, it's barking, but for... Basically, everybody else, they use, you hear, like, an instrument. Like, and Flint's is a saxophone, which is kind of obnoxiously loud. But Duster's is a... What is it? Like, a bass guitar? It's like a very subdued, kind of background noise type sound, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so, it's pretty easy to do combos with him. Since his instrument isn't, like going over the sound of the song in the background. Oh no. Through a rock! Ow! That actually really hurts, sir. How dare you. Nut bread again? Okay, well, maybe they always drop nut bread for some reason. Beef jerky! That will certainly be useful. And Duster, I don't want you to have it. Here, have some bread. I'm keeping that jerky, damn it. I'm sorry. Okay, well, you know, let's just... How close are you to getting to the next level? So if we fought that other mole in here, that probably would not get you to the next level. Well, darn it. Well, I guess we may as well just continue on. If you try to leave, you're not going to be able to because, uh... Yeah, he tried to climb the ladder and he got stuck. I... I... I'm fine. I can get down on my own. Don't worry about me, Flint. Hurry on ahead. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. Hey, Flint, there's someone here. Oh, good. You guys again. What are those? Are they human? What are they doing? Well, let's go investigate. Why not? This will certainly end brilliantly. Okay, well, they have some kind of thing there. Oh, God. It's alive. Great. Reconstructed caribou. So they destroyed this poor thing and turned it into a monster. That's great. Well, here we are. This is our first, uh, boss fight. And you know what I'm going to do? 
I'm gonna throw thunder bombs at you. And then, uh, Duster can use his staples to pin enemies down. It doesn't always work, but if it does, this guy's gonna be pretty much completely screwed, so I guess that's good. Wow, I cannot combo for shit. I never can, but... <laughs> pin down! Hooray! Can't move. I don't know exactly how long they stay pinned down for. Probably about... I'm gonna guess two turns, maybe. Crap. Wow, Duster, you're doing great damage. Doing absolutely amazing damage. Just letting you know. Well, you just joined us, so of course you're not gonna be able to do much. Bro- oh, crap, what's he doing? Ow! That actually seriously hurts, sir. How dare you. Okay, so, with the wall staples and a couple thunder bombs, this boss fight is nothing. That's usually why I'm always playing as hard mode, because to me, this game's just too easy. But I think that's because I'm usually way over-leveled for boss fights, so maybe I should just stop fighting nearly as much as I do. <laughs> Fourteen. I imagine everybody probably got a level up, yeah. Well, hooray. That went... Pretty much as well as it possibly could. We got hit once. And then they run away. Gracious me. No problem here. There's clearly a problem here. An incredibly Notebook with a pig nose like mark on the cover. Sure. Following is written in poor handwriting. All the creatures around here suck. We need to make them cooler. So the theme will be tougher, rougher, badder. We'll mix and match this and that to create whole new things no one's ever seen before. I dub it the Fascinating Chimera. Or, not Chimera. Isn't it actually, like, pronounced Kim Chimera? Is it Chimera? I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce it, actually. But I'm pretty sure Chimera is incorrect, so... Huh. I should really look up what the proper pronunciation is for it, shouldn't I? Okay, well, let's see what the hell is up here. Oh, jeez, there's a thing. And it's flying away! And that makes Boney upset. Spare our advice, allow me to explain skills to you. I already know what this is. Everybody has special abilities. Flint can increase his stats and use, like, a really powerful attack that almost always misses. Duster has wall staples, Boney can sniff shit, that's, that's, that, that's it, basically. Alright, well, this video's getting a little bit long, so I think we're gonna stop things here, and when we come back, uh... I guess we're just gonna have to tell everybody all we found up here besides, uh, a half-machine, half-animal caribou up here. Only thing we found up here that's of any note is a, a part of Hinawa's dress. So uh, I guess we're going to do that in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.